New girlfriend reads friend's texts and now he is being slowly excluded from everything. A friend, M, 33, has a, new, girlfriend, F, 30. They have been together for around four months maybe. The friend and I, F, 35, used to be quite close and I would talk pretty extensively with him about my mental health, past trauma, etc. Well, at some point he had left me on, read, for a while and I asked if he was okay, as that was unusual. Turns out it was his girlfriend who read my message. She apparently insists on having access to his phone, as she was cheated on in the past, thus has trust issues. That made me profoundly uncomfortable. I don't tell just anyone about my innermost feelings and experiences. As a result I stopped telling him these things and with every text I wrote, I considered if I wanted girlfriend to know what I was about to say. Not going to lie, my messages started really drying up as a result. I also felt pretty betrayed, as I felt I had a right to know who was going to read my messages before I sent them. I mentioned what happened to our friends group and their reaction was similar to mine. In the group chat, we are currently supporting another friend through some nasty marriage trouble and that friend in particular, was really put off. The next day, friend with new girlfriend was removed from the chat. The fallout has been pretty dramatic. Friend with girlfriend feels everyone is now freezing him out. Girlfriend feels we are making him choose between us and her, because we are supposedly jealous also, if there was nothing dodgy going on, we shouldn't mind that she keeps reading, and I, feel sorry for him, but am not willing to just bare my soul to someone I don't want to. Is there any way of salvaging this? Are we being unreasonable? Too long did not read. Friend's girlfriend reads all his texts and now nobody feels comfortable texting him. His girlfriend is the jealous one who needs to knock it off. No adult should have full access to someone else's phone. It's a ridiculous precedent that is so damn controlling. Emo, you and your friends have made the only reasonable choice by limiting what you text him. If you now know that everything you send him could be seen by someone else, why keep sending him personal info? One of my sons has to give his wife full phone access. She even posts on his social media as him. I don't text him anything personal anymore. His dad told me, he is a big boy, he has to stop that mess on his own. Yesterday I found out my partner of 11 years has been cheating on me for over a year now. He rushed off to work and left his phone home. Curiosity got the best of me and I went through it. I honestly didn't expect to see anything as I thought we were in a good place. But sure enough the first text message in his list was to a number that belongs to a female from last year that he was supposed to have blocked, last year. He claims he texts her song lyrics to be, funny and disrespectful, and to be honest it very well could be song lyrics. He texts her. Bitch you gonna take this dick or what? But if someone is supposed to be blocked, why and how are you texting them? What would even make you think that'd be okay? Even if it was meant to be disrespectful. When I seen it I won't lie I text her back from his phone and told her to take the whole man and that I was packing his shit for her. She replied back with some bullshit about how we belong together, he really loves me. He's just a really good friend to her, she was going through things and needed someone, blah blah blah. I basically told her I knew about her number for over a year now and had been confronted him about her and how when I was down and out going through things. My dad had a stroke the 2nd of March 21 and passed August 23rd 22 and before he passed I was his caregiver. He was paralyzed, lost speech, and in diapers. It was hard and still hurts thinking of it all. And my uncle passed January 27th 22. He was out here cheating and at this point I didn't give a fuck about losing him too. I packed all of his stuff and even though I told him I was going too, when he got home I could tell it upset him. But I don't know what the fuck he expects me to do anymore. I will never be able to trust him again or look at him the same. And the fact that we basically had this same argument over a year ago about the same fucking person doesn't help. I told him to me it feels like he basically chose her over me. If we have an understanding that he would cut contact and he obviously doesn't, that's choosing her right? If he lied to me and said he blocked her number when he clearly didn't, that's him choosing her right? Yet I'm supposed to be wrong for choosing myself and telling him to leave. ETA guess I'm just looking for some feedback that I'm not crazy or wrong for feeling this way, he chose her, and making him leave. You're not crazy, you did the right thing. You're not crazy. She's supposed to blocked so she should not know anything about the way he, loves, you at all. From the sounds of things you were going through a lot and needed your own husband emotional support. So it does seem like he choose to risk his marriage to keep her in his life. I say give him what they both want and make him stay gone. Not let her have him. 
Once they're under each other's asses constantly and the thrill isn't there anymore they will start hating each other. He's a poss but don't look at it as 11 years wasted. Think of it as being glad you're not putting more years into a fake ass relationship. You did right, the hell with how he's feeling. Since he can't seem to let that girl go, then end things with him so he can freely go be with her. You are not crazy. Throw this man away he can go and fuck himself. He got a second chance. He sure as hell does not deserve a third one. I don't know how to overcome my boyfriend rebounding during our split. I, 23F, have been with my boyfriend, 24M, for almost 8 years. He is my first love and my bestest friend. However, 2 years ago we broke up because we lacked communication and he felt as though we weren't giving each other what we needed. He was falling into a severe depression and felt ending things was the right thing to do, so I accepted it. We were broken up for only 2 months, but we shared a dog so I still saw him a few times, and he would call me every now and then to catch up. There was no animosity there so we remained on good terms. Eventually he approached me again to ask if we can try again. I agreed. Since then our relationship has been better than it has ever been before. But recently I found out that during the brief break up, he was seeing someone. Nothing serious, but they were hooking up. I was devastated. I had asked him if he had been with someone during our split and he swore up and down that he didn't do anything. The lying and hiding is very hurtful let alone the fact that he moved on so quickly. Even though it was a meaningless fling and he ultimately chose me, it still hurts, and I'm afraid I won't be able to see past it. It's important to note that prior to us separating, we had only been physically intimate with each other, given that we were together since high school. I never got with anyone during the split, but now he has another experience, and I'm not sure how to handle that. I want to work this out with him, but I'm deeply hurt. Can use some guidance. Ask yourself if that person was the reason for the breakup in the first place. And if that depression was just his guilt speaking. You mentioned lack of communication is one of the reasons y'all spilt the first time, and now a couple months later he's now lying and it sounds like lack of communication never changed. Did y'all ever talk about what you both needed to work on before getting back together? It sounds like nothing really changed and in a relationship with full trust you would talk about this and work on it as a team. Does that show you communication has been fixed in order to make your relationship work for the second time? I wish my boyfriend would propose. My BF, 28, and I, 27, F, have been together for 7 years. We have lived together for 6 years and bought a house together 3 years ago. In the earlier days, years he used to tell me he couldn't wait to marry me and have children. Then slowly it changed to one day then now whenever I bring it up he says he doesn't want that anymore. I brought it up last year when I sat him down for a serious conversation and he said maybe. We went away in summer for our anniversary and I thought maybe he would propose them, but he didn't. Now Christmas and my birthday are coming up and I feel sick with worry that he won't propose and a year on nothing has changed. I don't know what to do. Why didn't he want to marry, it seems very glossed over in the story. He is never going to propose. Decide if it's a deal breaker. He told you no. Either accept that or leave. Those are your choices. Well you've showed him that you will stay without a ring. You are literally three years into owning a home together. I think very simply he is very happy reaping the benefits of the relationship without the investment, risk of a marriage. TBH he already has you in the house so he probably is just comfortable and happy with things the way they are. My aunt lived with my uncle for 13 years. He was comfortable. Finally he wanted to buy a house and she said no until marriage. He put a ring on it and they've been married 20 years. He said he doesn't want to marry you. Believe him. 